Hi Cancer, welcome to your mid-June 2021 general love reading. This is your girl Mermaid Scales Tarot. This is a general love reading for the Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, and or any other strong placement for the sign of Cancer. This will not resonate with every Cancer that watches this message. And as this reading is general, not every single message in this reading may be for you as this reading is general. So <laughs> please only take what resonates and leave what doesn't for someone to hear that message. If this message is not for you at all, Cancer, I suggest checking out your other signs and different placements. Hi, Cross Watchers. You're very welcome here if you're interested in a Cancer. Who wouldn't be? I'd like to remind Cancer and Cross Watchers that energy is fluid. This means you may feel like I'm describing a certain situation in the reading where you feel the roles are flipped or reversed, and that's completely okay. You are more than welcome to use your own discretion to flip those roles if that resonates with your specific situation the most. All right, Cancer, let's do this. All right, let's get started. So Cancer, for this reading, I'm tuning in to an energy that is in or around your energetic field that has romantic feelings or intentions towards you in this very moment. I'm gonna ask how they feel about you right now. What do they think about you when they think about you in this moment? What do they like about you? What do they don't like about you? What do they like about the connection that they have with you currently and what they don't like about it? And what their highest hopes and deepest fears are in regards to this connection with you, Cancer. Whoa. Okay. I mean, this is a very complex person you're dealing with. Um, I feel that this person likes to come off as being nonchalant, as being, you know, very charming, charismatic, almost like a player, playette vibe. They could, you know... It, it, it ain't a thing to them what is between the two of you, but that's all a facade. And you kind of see right through it, Cancer. Um, but the thing is, is that... Wow. <laughs> we have the lovers here. We have the world here. We have the chariot here. So three major arcanas in this reading, and they're all very much related to what they what they love about you but at the same time what they can't admit to themselves about how they feel with you it's like this person really is stubborn and you know that cancer this person tries their hardest to believe their own perception i just feel honestly let me just say it this way this person is very in denial about what they want with you, how they feel about you, and it's like their mind and their heart are in two separate strategies, two separate perceptions on what they want in this with you, Cancer, but it, it, they're very conflicted here on what to do with this because they haven't had this energy towards anyone else, these feelings towards anyone else. And you've stirred something very, very new in them that they just don't know how to deal with it. That's what I'm getting. They're at a crossroads here when it comes to you. And they're still trying to figure it out. But what they feel with you in this moment, two of wands, passion, desire, and need to see you again. I want to see you again. But they think with the page of swords to hold back, to observe, to analyze, to see how you feel. Because they don't want to put themselves out there if you're going to return the energy of you not caring, it's very, very, um, it's like tiptoeing around it, but seeing what you will do with it. it, it let's, oh goodness. And then we have judgment at the bottom of the deck. So this is fire energy, Aries Leo Sagittarius energy, but this card is also ruled by Pluto, 
So Scorpio energy, you could have those signs in your chart. You could be connected to one of those signs. Does not have to be the case. But Cancer, they're facing the inevitability here of this is something far more than what they expected, what they were prepared for. And I gotta say with judgment here, being on the bottom of this deck, there is a purpose for you to meeting. There was a contract that was created by the angels, by the universe for you two. And there is something to be fulfilled in this lifetime between the two of you that is pretty prominent, pretty grand. And it's just, when is this going to happen? It is a very strong contract between the two of you. Um, for some of you, the contract is to have kids. Um, others of you, that you could have kids with this person. And that contract, you know, is almost fulfilled here. But there is a bond between the two of you. And also, if that's not so much the case, right? Not wanting to go down that road of having children, which is completely fine. Um... This is a revival of a past life contract you guys have met before. You have been married in a past life. You have had children in a past life. And that energy is just continuing in this lifetime again. You've met each other before. You know each other. Your souls are very, very well acquainted with one another. And that's the inevitability of it all. That's what they're trying to deny or suppress. Even if they don't know much about past lives, they're not spiritual tapped in. There's just something about you, Cancer, that they can't walk away from fully. They can't escape from. And they're just having trouble accepting that. Where I feel you already are aware of this. You're very intuitive. You're very much in touch with your spiritual side. And... I feel like you're already aware. You're just wake, waiting for this person to wake up to this. And they're waking up big time. Big time in June. It could be dealing with cancer season that we're coming into. Um, Venus is, is in cancer. So things are getting a lot more emotional. But man, I feel very strongly there's a soulmate connection here between the two of you. They just may be a little bit slow on the come up here. But let's go ahead and get into this. So how they feel about you, Cancer? Two of Wands. So this is Aries energy. What I feel with this, Cancer, is this person just pursues you, right? I mean, from when you guys met, they were all over you. They couldn't keep their hands off of you. They flirted hardcore with you. Um, very charming energy, very go-getter energy, and it really attracted you, Cancer. It really turned you on. Because let's face it, I'm a Cancer too. Um, we aren't, when it comes to romantic pursuits, we kind of like to see if people will reach out to us. We're not so direct. We want to see who will come to us, right? And that's exactly what this person did. And since, like, contacting you, they were the first to reach out. They were the first to hit on you. If it's vice versa, great. Um, but since then, it's like the the intrigue has been turned up all the way. And right now in this moment, they're wondering when they're going to see you next, when they can hang out with you next, when that next date is. Or maybe they're in the midst of making plans for you guys or you guys are trying to talk about what you're going to do next weekend for some of you. Um, but there's passion here for you, Cancer. And you feel it. You definitely feel it. But at the same time, what they think, they feel like they have to control themselves. Because they don't want to come off too strong. They don't want to come off as if they're, like, overly interested in a desperate way. That's kind of what they think, even if it's not really the case. So you don't feel them as being desperate. They're just worried about that. So there, there's a strategy here, Cancer, of how to get your attention without them having to be so forthcoming with it, how to keep you intrigued, how to keep you wondering what they're up to next, what they have, want to do with this. They're not giving you all the answers. Let's just say that. Air energy, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius energy. Someone could have a moon in the air sign. 
Um, but yeah, they, they definitely aren't showing how interested they are. I mean, they check your social media every day. Um, they even have like maybe other accounts where they follow you on, but they don't follow, they don't like check your story on their main account because they don't want to come off as too interested. You know, it's like, I don't know, Cancer, it's just this fear if, if they come off like too strong, I don't know why. Or they don't want you to know how interested they really, really are in case for some reason that would make you get bored with it. I don't know. I don't know what it is. But they definitely, either on their personal account or on other accounts, they, they keep watch on you. Um, and they'll reply to your stories. If you don't have social media, then they definitely... I feel like they start the conversation through text message, through email, and then take hours to respond, and it's all part of a strategy here. Although they want to respond immediately, they bid their time so they can build up that anticipation and that tension within you. But if there's one thing about cancer, cancer does not play games, okay? And cancer... If you're going to confuse a cancer for too long, they're going to lose interest. And that may just serve as a warning sign for someone. But yeah, cancer, you have more than sparked their interest. They are definitely, definitely feeling you. And they really, really like you. What they like the most about you is the lovers. Man, Taurus energy, Gemini energy, the only Taurus energy for me as a reader specifically. Um, but there's something very sensual, sexy about you. You, uh, <laughs> I mean, I feel for them you get, they think you get really dressed up, dolled up, and they love it. I mean, you wear your nicest things, your sexiest things. You do your hair, you put on your best cologne, your best perfume. You're just a very sensual person and you like to look good. You like to smell good. You like to feel good. You you put lotion on. I'm hearing cocoa butter for someone out there that may resonate or shea butter. Um, but sensually, you're very, very appetizing. But at the same time, there's this depth to you of realness that you provoke this emotion, this passion, this desire in them. And they have this strong, strong pull towards you and they can't figure out why. There's more they need to get to know about you. But Cancer, they're like, I don't know, something maybe even you met in February or you had something special go on Valentine's Day between the two of you may resonate with some of you. But look at that Cupid up there. Cupid's arrows have been struck. Okay? And they, they feel that there's a lot of potential here and there's just something with you that is going to be amazing that yet they still have to figure out or yet that they still... It's just this gut feeling they have about you. It's like you have, this is what I feel with my cancers. Um, you have two sides to yourself. That is sweet, smart, caring, loving, but then also really sexual, really passionate. Um, you know, like classy in the streets, freak in the sheets type of thing. That drives them wild. Really, you drive them wild, cancer. I'm hearing something about peonies, the flower, P-E-O-N-Y, -E or N-I-E-S, <laughs> or whoever wants to look it up. Um, I don't know if it's like a scent you have, a lotion you have, or you have peonies in your front yard or something. But man, you're, but the thing is, what they don't like about you, Cancer, the world card. So... 
fixed energy, Taurus, Leo, Scorpio, Aquarius energy, and there's different messages I'm getting from this. So bear with me. Use your intuition to decipher which one's for you. For some of you guys, um, you come from different parts of the world, different cultures, different backgrounds, different ethnicities. Um, and that's something to adjust to. Maybe you guys live in two different time zones. If you are at a distance from one another, they feel like they're at a distance from you. Um, maybe you guys primarily have to talk through the internet as your main communication source. Um, someone has a prominent social media following and they just are kind of like, damn, like cancer has this whole thing going on. A lot of followers, uh, can, can I even compare to someone here? But others of you, I got to say, um, with this world card here, like, Do you even view them the way they view you? Do you even consider them the way they consider you? Like, for some reason, they get this energy cancer that you have a lot going on in your life, that you're pursuing a lot, you have a go lot of goals and ambitions that you're looking to complete and conquer, and are they even a priority here when it comes to that? Or others of you with this world card here, um, I feel this energy. I don't know if you've communicated this or this is just some thought they've had. It's like, you're focusing on you. You're doing you. You're not really looking to have a relationship right now, a commitment right now. And you're just focused on what you can do in this moment to complete your goals before you even think about a commitment here. Um... So yeah, a lot of different messages. What they like the most about this connection, five of pentacles, Taurus energy. Now this is a weird card to have this placement in, but with the tarot sexual magic, which is what I'm using right now, the tarot is a bit different. Um, and what I feel with this cancer, so especially if you guys are at a distance from one another, um, different cities, states, countries even, continents, <laughs> um, even when you're to like apart and you, you, you're not physically around one another, you can't just drive over to go see the other person. Like you still find ways to have that connection, be very passionate, be very alive. Um, I feel like you guys have long conversations on the phone, long conversations for hours even. And you stay up too late and you know you have work the next morning, but you just, the conversation is just so fun and sexy even. It gets to those type of levels. Um, but others of you, I feel honestly this is part of the strategy in the game to kind of not let you know what to expect from, you know, the nights where they come over and it's really passionate. It's very date night romantic. And then the next, like, you know, they won't automatically let you know when they get home or the next day they don't text you. They just want to keep you guessing of where this could go. And it's all part of the strategy here. Someone could be into music, uh, play an instrument, the guitar, um, write music, really great voices, good singers. I mean, I'm getting that someone was in a choir at one period of time in their life. Maybe currently are. It's not for everyone. And there's a kiss that they think about a lot when they have you up against the wall and they're kissing you. I don't know. But that's what I'm really getting with the Five of Pentacles. Let me go ahead and clarify to see if there's anything else I'm missing from that. Eight of Spears. So Sagittarius energy. Yeah. Um... To have that whole, I think what they think they're doing is to have this be like a start and a stop and a start and a stop to build like that whole, again, like I said, anticipation. But it just, with the two of swords at the bottom of the deck, it's not really serving it well. It just keeps you confused. It makes you worry. Libra moon, by the way, energy here or Libra energy here. Um, 
it's just not the right strategy. And they may be thinking it's working right now, but it's kind of confusing you and throwing you off guard. So just a warning here, be careful with that strategy, whoever's doing it. Um, it may just kind of sabotage what you don't want to happen <laughs> or sabotage what you want to happen, but it's just going to lead the other way. What they don't like about the connection, King of Cups, Scorpio energy. So this is the denial here, right? About how deep this really goes with you, Cancer. Again, you see right through it, I feel. Like even if it does confuse you of why they have to do this strategy, why they have to play these games, that kind of confuses you more than what you really know how this person feels. Um, and also with this, with the King of Cups, like, that's the thing too, Cancer, you feel everything. You feel everything, and there's no getting past you with certain things. And you know it's a matter of time before they come back, or, you know, you know it's a matter of time before they do reply to your message. They do respond, but it's just the denial of how deep this really goes. They're, they're not ready to admit it yet. Or... They haven't been up until this point. Highest hopes is the three of pentacles. Capricorn energy. They want to keep on at this. They are not looking to tap out. They're not looking to quit. They're looking to build this. They're looking to expand this and grow this. Um, they want to work at this because they're interested. Very interested. And someone definitely like grabs the back of someone's neck while they're kissing to pull them forward more, to hold their head a bit um, when they're making out. Face to face, someone on the other person's lap. Um, but yeah, they're not looking to end this anytime soon. They want to see where this can go with you. And if this can build. But deepest fears. The chariot. Cancer energy. Some of you could be dealing with another cancer. I also feel Sagittarius with this energy as well for me personally. Um, but that their strategy will not serve them with this. You know, where they're thinking they're getting away or that they're pursuing or the games that they're playing are working is really just going to make you want to dip and dip quick. You know, this isn't working. This isn't right. There's nothing much that can change my mind. I'm out. And to like never look back at it. Like once the chariot has made their mind to pursue, they got their gear on and they're out of there. You know, it, it's, it's not much else that could change the mind of it. Or there's other things to pursue than to like, you know, have this sidestepping guessing type of thing going on. Or that really, Cancer, this is another thing. You're a lot more in control of this than they are. In control of their feelings. In control of, you know, what you want to happen in this situation. Like, it, when it really comes down to it, if you were to say jump, they, they would say how high. But not directly do it, but just do it in a different way. You know? Again, like the feelings are very, very strong, but they're also afraid of the ultimatum that they have to be real and upfront with you or you're out. So a lot of different messages for you guys. To see the likely outcome of this cancer, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. But before we go, I am going to pull a card here from this deck and I'm going to see if there's anything else they wanted to say to you, what they have in mind when they think about you and they think about this connection that they haven't said yet. Let's go ahead and see. I also saw the letter H, first, middle, last, initial, could mean something to someone. I will always love you no matter what. Interesting. I'm picking up something interesting here with that. And then I know I made the wrong choice. Okay. Interesting, interesting. I will love you no matter what. This is that soul contract that has been continuing from a past life. Like the feelings have developed so strongly because they've already fallen in love with you in a past life, maybe multiple past lives. Like this is a soulmate connection. And again, Cancer, like if they're putting up this front, it's just a front. 
It's just a facade. It's just to get you to not read into them. It's to get you to not pick up on the strategy, even though I feel you already can read them with the back with the back of your hand with your eyes closed. Um, but this is connecting to that judgment energy of, yeah, this is something very real that I'm feeling. And I, I just can't. It, 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 it's something they're just all unfolding now and awakening to what the feelings are. But this, I know I made the wrong choice. Like, I don't know, Cancer, are things kind of rocky right now? Have you been kind of tired of their games and you haven't replied yet? Like, now they're kind of realizing the strategy they've gone about this with you has been the wrong one. And they're kind of worried if they have screwed anything up between the two of you. And I think if that's the case, they're going to try to fix it quick. They're going to try to do damage control because they don't want this to end at all. But to see if it's really going to be something they're going to act on or still play the games, we're going to go ahead and take this to Vimeo for the extended reading. If you'd like to join me there, I'm going to overturn this card and then to see what the likely outcome, what's likely to unfold, and pull some oracle cards as well for you so we can dive deeper into this connection to give you more clarity on what you should know about this or what you should do about this. If you'd like to join me for the extended reading, open up the description box and you'll find the link to Vimeo, which will take you to the extended reading. If this is where we depart, Cancer, I hope that this has given you clarity in some way, healing, insight, and guidance in regards to your love life. If it has, please let me know. Drop a comment below, hit that like button, and don't forget to subscribe. And very quickly, to just fully wrap this up, I am still doing my two-year anniversary giveaway where I'm giving away a box full of goodies to celebrate my two-year anniversary to some lucky subscribers as a thank you for all your love and support. In the box of goodies will be candles, crystals, tarot decks, all that good stuff. So if you're interested in entering your chance to win, open up the description box, scroll down a bit, and you'll find the rules of entry there in case you're interested. Sorry, I just picked up on something really quickly too. Um, they always wear the same pair of sunglasses, or you do, and they've had it for years. It's their one and only, their true type of sunglasses, always. I don't know. Anyway, I love you, Cancer, very much, and I'll see you next time. Take care, Cancer.